Right now, I am standing in front of Skip Town, the bar designed for dogs and owners to mix and mingle while having a drink. I came to visit to see how business is running since Roy Cooper eased COVID-19 restrictions. You can see many patrons drinking and conversing without masks on, but staying in the respective spaces. It is crowded, but Roy Cooper has allowed 100% capacity for outdoor gatherings. I asked patron Kayla Terrell, an employee, how they felt about visiting and working at Skip Town. I love Skip Town. It's amazing. It's literally the like my favorite thing because I literally just get to play with dogs. So Skip Town, like we've taken a lot of precautions with everything. So we're actually considered a retail facility. So we actually went back up to 100%. I love how free the dogs are. I love how open it is. Since we are in a pandemic, I would appreciate how the six feet of feet apart, you know, rule would actually be advised here, but uh, or masks. Skip Town opened in August of 2020, and workers say business has not fluctuated much since the ease of restrictions. This is Dakota reporting for ANT. Have a Foot College Students for Abolition, Liberation, and Change, also known as SALT, held a virtual panel about art for abolition and to send birthday cards to Mamiya Abu Jamal, an incarcerated member of the former Black Panther Party. Mamiya was imprisoned and sentenced to death over the murder of a police officer who stopped his brother in traffic on December 9, 1981. In 2001, the death sentence was overturned, and today he is still in prison. The panel began with Ka Yangi, Sunny Singh, Kim Wilson, and Mon M, creators from Haverford College dedicated to bringing art into abolition. They spoke with incarcerated artist, Latasha Gross about her experience creating while in prison and what it means to her. Okay, so um, once I got incarcerated, um, it was like always a fear of mine to be forgotten. So mm -hmm. I always wanted to find a way to stay connected to my family. Change is, is possible regardless of where you are. And like even in these gates, like it's, you can become a different person deserve a second chance like it's not because you made a mistake it's not who you are good evening i'm dakota smith reporting for ant and i am currently standing at the entrance of the renaissance center where north carolina ant artist richard newkirk is hosting his art show what do you see when you close your eyes let's take a look inside um i am a surrealist artist so what that means is i paint a lot of scenes that don't have necessarily realism in it they're all mm -hmm inspired by dreams or thoughts. Along with Richard, Greensboro artists such as Queen Zynga, Ariel Robinson, and Robert Xavier displayed their work to continue establishing themselves in the artistic community. Alongside the artwork, Richard invited performing artists such as 47 Roman and Jules to drop some of their tracks as entertainment throughout the night. I asked Richard, does he believe that he could build collective and community wealth in Greensboro? And this was his response. I want you to leave with no paintings. I want people to buy everything you have. Like, I want you to make that money. I want you to go out of this art show with the idea in your head that you will survive by making just art. You can find more of Richard's work at thenameisrich.com and the name is period rich on Instagram. His website also includes a bio of each artist and their contact information under the What Do You See section of his site. This is Dakota reporting for ANT. The pandemic has shut down many local businesses and events, but it has not stopped artists from connecting and creating. This weekend, Portia the Poet, a spiritual healer and rapper, hosted the Lyrical Healing Open Mic in Charlotte, North Carolina. The night began with vendors selling food, drinks, tarot card readings, crystals, and other items valuable to the community. Later into the evening, Zen Master Tone and myself, Dakota, performed a set of unreleased songs. In New York City, however, it is a different story where many businesses are still shut down due to the pandemic. Artists are still having to connect virtually through Instagram Live, Twitter, Facebook, and Clubhouse. I spoke with a different world rapper, this is Jay, about his experience connecting with different artists and his fan base through Instagram, Clubhouse, and Twitter. When you're 
like in home or at the studio at your studio it's just like more of a controlled environment and you have control over what you can do with your performance and you can make it interesting and unique in different ways so through this people are going to strengthen their social media followings and a lot of connections with their fans the duo hosts live performances every tuesday on instagram live